All right, so what do two kinds of tape, a blue Sharpie, a pair of scissors, and a pack of double mint have to do with shipping comics? Stay tuned to this video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. You guys know that I've been a little challenged with United States Postal Service's ability to deliver comic books safely to my house. If you doubt me, take a look at some of my recent videos where I talk about damage that's been done to some books. But I wanted to contribute to the community and I wanted to create a video where I kind of highlight how I package comic books to ship them across the country. By and large, I'm shipping anywhere from one to 10 books. And so what I'm gonna be showing you is, is my methodology, my approach for being able to do that. Now, if you search YouTube, you can find lots of ways that people have concocted for being able to ship their books. They use stacks of cardboard, they use insulated um, envelopes, they use lots of bubble wrap, they use you know uh, pieces of, of cardboard, they use newspaper, they use peanuts. You name it, people have come up with some ways to ship books. My thing is I wanna ship the book safely, and I also wanna do it economically as well because a lot of the books that I'm selling aren't really, really expensive books and so I wanna get the book to the person as safely, as quickly as possible but also not spend an arm and a leg doing it because that allows me some flexibility with how much I actually charge for the book on eBay or Instagram or whatever it happens to be. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my process for doing it, not with, with peanuts and lots of pieces of cardboard, but with something called the Gemini Mailer. This thing is incredible. I have a huge stack of these things that I purchased several months ago and I use them every single time that I ship a comic book somewhere in the country. So stay tuned to this video because I wanna show you all of the steps that I follow. Okay, so one of the things that I like to do is, is of course kind of lay out all of my supplies. So I have two types of tape that I use. One is painter's tape and one is a more uh, durable kind of packing tape uh, for the outside of the box. I have a Sharpie because I like to be able to write on the boxes. I have a pair of scissors for cutting the tape and of course I have my Gemini mailer. The, f the first thing that I like to do when I'm uh, packaging a book up is I like to bend up the Gemini mailer so that I'm bending all three segments. So each corner or each piece of the cardboard essentially has three segments that I want to kind of bend um, because they're perforated and I want to kind of massage the cardboard so that everything comes together quite nicely. The next step that I, I do is I kind of fold the top of the Gemini mailer down and into the, uh, the outer casing of the box. And I use a piece of tape to hold that insert in place. I found that if you don't, that insert kind of slides around. So I use a, a piece of painter's tape to kind of hold that piece in place. I'll then go ahead and insert the comic book into the insert in the Gemini mailer. And I will then use a piece of tape to kind of hold the flaps of the insert closed. The next step is to fold the mailer closed. And I like to, um, again, take advantage of the creases that I've already placed in the box by bending those, those three sections on the left and the right to kind of get the box pulled together to make sure everything fits nice and snug. I then use a piece of, of tape, uh, kind of lengthwise, and I use that to hold the book closed. And then I grab my label placing the label on the box. I then use various uh, lengths of tape to hold the um, label in its proper place. And you'll see that at, at one point, I actually use a longer piece of tape to secure the label, the top of the label, uh, to kind of wrap it back around to the back side of the box. So I use my Sharpie to actually make some notes to the United States Postal Service and I mark on the box, do not drop, do not bend to send the signal to the post person that they should not drop or bend the item in this box. 
And so it's just a note that I found works incredibly well for making sure that books kind of arrive a little safely because I think that by and large, if, if the post person sees a note on there, they're going to take a little bit more caution than if there were no note on there and they assume that whatever in, is in there can't be damaged by them dropping or, or you know rough housing with the, uh, with the book. So as you can kind of see here on screen, you know, I've kind of pulled the book together using, you know, various amounts of uh, two kinds of tape. And of course the label, I then uh, place it on the scale and you can see that roughly the weight of one comic book plus the mailer and, and all the tape and things like that comes out to 7.2 ounces. And again, if you're shipping via the United States Postal Service to be able to ship a book like this first class, uh, does not cost an, uh, a tremendous amount. I want to say it's three dollars and about eighteen cents or so, with the um, eBay discount applied to it. So again, the goal for me is to ship the book safely, um, securely, but also economically as well. The nice thing about the Gemini mailer is that it can actually accommodate. I I, I want to say anywhere from one to about thirteen comic books. By and large, um, you know, when I'm shipping books, I'll ship anywhere from, from one to roughly 10 uh, in this kind of method. Anything above 10, I will use a, a different process for being able to ship a book. All right, so what you guys have just seen is my, my method for packaging up books to be able to send them uh, out to people all across the country when they happen to buy a book from me. And, and there are lots of ways that you can actually ship books. Don't get me wrong, just like comic book collecting, I don't believe that there's any one way to do it. I found that this is a method that works best for me. I've actually never had a problem uh, sending a book out. And, and to some degree, I think the Gemini mailer presents a book really well to someone unlike um, maybe you know random types of cardboard maybe from a pampers box or you know from a home depot box or some other you know box at amazon box that you have laying around your house that you've cut up with with a with a pair of scissors or whatever and and kind of taped together and thrown in an envelope i think that the gemini mailer actually presents a lot better and it makes the person that is receiving that book um you know, feel like you just didn't, you know, mail them a piece of garbage. And so for me, I think presentation is very important. And so that's why I made the investment in the Gemini Mailer. Um, I think I purchased maybe 50 or so of these uh, from Amazon for maybe 25 bucks, 30 bucks or something like that. Um, and, and, and it's worth it to me because it gives me the peace of mind that I'm taking the appropriate amount of protection to ship a book to someone, right? When someone gives you their money, you should take caution with ensuring that what they've purchased reaches them safely. Um, you know, to me, there is nothing more wasteful than someone who sends me a book, doesn't take the proper precautions to protect that book. That book is then damaged, and then they have to issue me a refund. You know, I now have a book that I might as well throw away they had a sale that they had to refund to me and I still don't have a book that I want, right? And in many ways, it is truly a lose-lose situation when a comic book gets damaged in the mail. And, and you know, buying something like this Gemini mail or taking a little extra precaution prevents a lot of frustration across the board. It prevents a lot of refunds from having to take place. So again, there is no one method for doing this, just like comic book collecting. This is my method that I found that works extremely well for me. The question is, what method are you going to use to ensure that your books arrive safely? That's the question. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do so. And as always, I thank you in advance for your comments and for your likes. Take care. Oh, the double mint gum had nothing to do with the video. Thanks for watching.